Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Sonia. And I'm Justin. And we're the Funko Fiends. And today, oh my goodness, we are taking a look at the Chase 11 with Egos from Stranger Things. And sh this is the one with the wig. So the difference would be she doesn't have just like her shaved hair. So taking a look at the packaging, obviously, we've got the Stranger Things logo here at the top, as well as 11 on the front and sides. Like I said, it doesn't have the wig in the side art in the front art for this one. And then we've got this cool background with the bikes and uh, Mike in the background. And then on the back of the packaging, it's got this really cool, you know, the background with the alphabet on it and then the Christmas lights. And on the back, we've got 11, um, 11 underwater version, which is the Hot Topic exclusive. Mike, Dustin, Lucas, Will, Barb, Demogorgon, and Joyce Byers. So then taking a look at the figure outside of the packaging, as you can see, she actually does come with a stand. And I actually took her off of the base to just to try it out. And she's very, like, top-heavy because of the sculpt of the wig, but... I mean, that's not a bad thing. At least she comes with this um, stand, so you don't have to worry about that. She does have, like, the fully sculpted out wig, just like she has in the scene when they, like, give her the little disguise to make her look normal. Um, and this figure is really, really detailed, actually. We were just, you know, like, when we took it out of the box, it really kind of, um, you know, blew me away. I was not expecting the details. Like, I knew it had the details of, like, the Egos um, and, like, the box it had the decal on it, but I didn't know she actually had a little watch there. Um, and that actually has, like, the little buttons. It's, like, one of the uh, calculator watches. I really like how um, you can actually see, like, a home-style waffle on the box. You can see all the little logos, and there's a bunch of little writing that you can actually really make out. It's kind of hard to see because we're trying to zoom in so close, but... It's really cool, like, how into detail it is. And then the waffle looks so good. Like, it actually looks like a real waffle. <laughs> yeah, I like, the details on the box itself, like, the little decal that they use is awesome. Um, and then it even has it on the back of the box as well, like, the side that you wouldn't even normally see. It even has it on there, too. And like she said, it's kind of tricky to see on the camera. Um, and we'll try to get, like, some B-roll shots of that, you know, so you can see it in closer detail. But the detail on that little box is just insane. And then, like she said, the waffle, the sculpt of the waffle actually has, like, you know, the little honeycomb-style looking pattern on it. And the mold for that's really, really cool itself. Um, even her dress, like, they, they really got her dress and the jacket right on it. It looks really good as well. Um, paint's really clean. Yeah, paint looks good all around. And then um, her shoes are also styled, like, really, really well, too. Um, you can see, like, socks. yeah, the socks and the shoelaces are all, like, you know, sculpted out super well. Um, so I really think that, you know, this figure turned out looking really, really cool. Um, and I don't have any complaints about, like, anything with the mold or um, with the sculpt on this one. I think that it turned out looking really, really accurate to the character. So then discussing price and how we feel about the figure. Um, this one is a, f like, as of right now, making this video in February of 2017. It's brand new, so it's really hard to say where the price is going to go for this figure. I mean, right now on eBay, we've got right around $60, which for a Chase starting out is usually, like, you know, on the lower side. Um, when you compare it to the Chase Joker, when he came out, he was, like, around 150 when people were first getting him. And a lot of that's just hype, so, I mean, usually the best thing to do is just wait, but... I mean, I can't say with 100% certainty that that's what's going to happen with this pop because it is a little bit higher demand than something like, you know, the Duck, jo the duck Dodgers or the Space Cadet were, um, where those weren't really, like, super high demand characters. So, I mean, usually the best thing to do is wait. I'm sure they'll make a ton of these because Netflix, you know, is really pushing, you know, Stranger Things and any of their merchandise. They, they usually want to make a lot of it. So I would guess that she's not going to be super duper hard to find, but I really do love this figure. And I would honestly recommend it to anybody that's a you know really big fan of Stranger Things and maybe you're excited for the second season and you want to just you know get this whole collection. This is a really cool piece. Um, I'd have to say I like it better than the um, like the regular one, um, but that's just my personal preference. I mean, what did you think of this figure? I really like it as well. I just like the detail they put into the Ego box and the waffle and everything. Her outfit looks exactly like how it does in the show. Um, and then this one's really cute how she has the wig on. Um, I honestly don't know what one I like more because I like how the other one has her bloody nose with like the dirt on her face and how this one is more like clean with the wig. So they're both really cute. If you like Stranger Things, then I would definitely try and get this. Um, I would maybe, would you recommend searching for it? first I, yeah or? i would definitely recommend you know going out and trying maybe your local comic shops maybe your hot topic 
Um, I don't even know who else is going to get this one. I know Think Geek should get it. I mean, they're getting another yeah, exclusive. Yeah, Think Geek is a really good store. If you have one near you, um, at least at the one that we always go to, the people are awesome. They're always so helpful. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I mean, I would honestly try that. See if you can get it um, at a store. If not, then I would say it's probably definitely worth it for the money um, just because she is so cute. Yeah, um, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. We definitely recommend this one. Um, if you guys did like the video, make sure you drop a like down below. Also, make sure you guys get subscribed so you see these videos as they come out. I know we're going to be reviewing the entire Stranger Things line as we get our hands on them, so you know definitely be checking that out. And uh, make sure you guys leave a comment. Let us know what you thought and what you'd like to see next. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Good luck out there. Maybe you'll, you'll uh, go out after watching this video and score yourself a Chase 11 too. But other than that, you guys have a good one and keep on collecting.